Hey there, VCHHD students. My name's Andy. I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video, we're going to look at the relationship between the biomedical and social models of health. This is relevant to Unit 3, Area Study 2 for the 2025 plus HHD study design. There's a number of ways you can engage with the Health Resources Hub. If you're on YouTube at the moment, you can subscribe with the button in the bottom corner of the video there, and you'll be subscribing to our YouTube channel, and that means you'll get alerts to all of our new videos coming out across the year. We've also got our website, the hrh.net.au, where there's opportunities for students and teachers. So so if you haven't had a look at that website recently, please go there and check it out. It's updated regularly. We've also got our social media, so our Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook pages where you can follow us and get alerts to HHD videos that are being released and other opportunities, as well as our email info at the hrh.net.au. So what parts of the Unit 3 course is this video related to? So you can see here the Unit 3 key knowledge, and we have done a number of previous videos on this key knowledge point because there's a lot of aspects to it. And as part of this key knowledge point, you have to look at the biomedical approach to health as well as the social model of health. And so this video is really sort of linking those together because the key skill that you can see down the bottom there is asking you to be able to describe the relationship between the biomedical and social models of health. It says they're including strengths and limitations, but we've done those in previous videos. So if you haven't checked that out, please go back and have a look. While we're here, just a reminder, if you're a Unit 3 and 4 student, you can see down the bottom of the side there on our website, there is a link to sign up to our free student newsletter, which is coming out a couple of times a term across the year. It's got free SAC resources resources and advice, as well as in the lead up to the exam, exam resources and tips and advice. So if you haven't signed up to that, please head to our website and you'll see the link there to sign up for free. Okay, so just a bit of a recap, the biomedical and social models of health and what are we talking about here? So remember that the biomedical approach is focused on the use of health professionals and medical technology to diagnose, treat and cure health conditions. And so some examples of things that are related to that include x-rays and medications. And then the social model is focused on preventing health conditions by directing efforts towards addressing the physical, sociocultural and political environments. And that can include things like health promotion campaigns and road safety laws. So make sure that going into, okay, an upcoming assessment, the end of your exam, that you're really, I guess, clear in the difference between those two models. And so what is the relationship between the models? Because that's what the key skill is really focusing on here. And it's likely that you'll get a question, okay, in an assessment like a SAC at the end of your exam, that'll ask you to analyze that relationship in relation to perhaps some data or a particular condition. And we'll look at a practice question in a moment linked to that. So you can see that it says, is that both models are active at the same time. They just approach health conditions from different points. So it's important to note that first thing there, they're both active at the same time. So for example, you're not just thinking about one model being relevant to a particular period of time and then another model taking over, okay, from that model, both of them are active at the same time. So the biomedical model is focused on intervention once a health condition arises. So you could think about this in relation to perhaps a hospital where a person will turn up, okay, when they're ill, okay, they might have some diagnosis like an x-ray or an MRI and then some form of treatment. So that's because some health condition has arisen. Whereas the social model is focused on preventing health conditions arising in the first place. So while there are hospitals available, there's also a range of things like health promotion campaigns that you might see the government running on TV, encouraging people to be more physically active or not to smoke. So this is trying to get people to engage in behaviours that is likely to reduce okay, the risk of health conditions arising. So the relationship is that they are both working together at the same time to improve health outcomes. And one's not necessarily better than the other. They're just approaching the health conditions differently. One's approaching from that preventative point of view, trying to stop health conditions in the first place. But the other one is there just in case health conditions do arise. And we know that they do. And sometimes that's no fault of an individual. So there is the option there, if they do arise, that the biomedical, okay, can diagnose those and treat them and hopefully cure them. So they're both helping, okay, to improve health outcomes. So the best way probably to think about, okay, how this might relate to a question is to look at a past exam question. So you can see this question was worth six marks. So it might be a significant, okay, number of marks in the SAC at the end of your exam, we need to be able to demonstrate this skill. And so in this question here, they started with some stimulus and it mentioned that the report and tally over the 20th century identifies trends in mortality in Australia over the last century. And some of the successes I identified in the report include the following. Deaths from tuberculosis have been eliminated. Cancer deaths, which remained at even rates during most of the 20th century, have recently shown signs of decline. 
So that was the stimulus, so focusing on tuberculosis and cancer. And then it says, with reference to one success provided in the information above, analyze the relationship between the biomedical and social models of health in bringing about improvements in health status. So you could either choose tuberculosis or cancer deaths and then talk about the tuberculosis deaths being eliminated or cancer uh, deaths, which had recently shown signs of decline. And you have to then link that to the relationship between the biomedical and social models of health. So really, for example, if you chose, okay, that decline in cancer deaths, what you could be focusing on in relation to the biomedical model is that there's a range of different health professionals and medical technology that have been able to um, develop new technologies to help to diagnose things like tumors and new treatment options to help cure people that might have cancer. And that's helped to reduce mortality rates from cancer and obviously improve health status. And then you could say, however, at the same time, okay, the social model has been active and that's included things like health promotion campaigns to encourage people, okay, to quit or not take up smoking, which could have helped to reduce things like lung cancer or there might have been new laws that have been introduced to prevent people, okay, from smoking in public places to help reduce the risk of things like um, lung cancer as well. Or there's other types of cancers you could have linked to, like skin cancer, etc. And then... Finally, you can finish up your answer, okay, by talking about both of these models working together would have helped to contribute to some of those declines in cancer death. So in a question like this, it's really demonstrating that you understand that both models from different approaches have been working together to address whatever the particular health condition is that you're focusing on, and that they've both been able to contribute to that improvement in health status over time. And obviously, because this question here is mentioning health status, you have to include some health status terms. So you might be referencing things obviously like mortality in relation to cancer or incidents etc so make sure you're getting some of those terms in as well so this is a question that you could go back um, and practice in the lead up to any assessments and the end of your exam this year and obviously you could have a go in relation to cancer and then have a go in relation to tuberculosis as well and a range of other health conditions and think about how you would approach answering a question like this Okay, hopefully you found this video useful. If you're interested in more practice questions and lead up to your SACS and the end of your exam this year, I've worked on this revisions question book for ACE for HHD for the 2025 plus study design. It's got over 500 marks worth of practice questions and sample A plus responses. It's also got a full chapter on how to answer extended response questions, which will be useful for the end of your exam, but also SACS throughout the year. And it's also got a full trial exam as well. So if you're after a copy of that, you can head to book.acevc.com and that will come to you in the post. As I mentioned earlier, we've got our website where there's opportunities for students and teachers and go check that out. It's being updated regularly. Thanks so much.